Have you ever felt that you're playing the cello in some dark spot without any guiding light? Well, in today's video, I'm going to lit on a light on a game changer. Feedback. Stick around with me because, trust me, you will uncover the secret sauce to transform your cello playing, including a formula that I will share with you to build up your success in cello playing. Starting in three, two, one, go. So picture this, you're pouring your heart and life into your cello, but you're missing out on vital improvements because of one thing, you've guessed it, feedback. It's like the aha moment that you never knew you needed. But here's the catch, without feedback, you're stuck on a musical island. But let's bust out and let's enter in the waves of improvements together. Ding dong, and here comes a revelation. Feedback isn't just about, you know, saying, oops, you missed a note. Oops, you play the false note. Oops, you play the scratchy sound. It's like an x-ray for your playing, revealing those bad intonation issues or bad bowing technique that you thought only happened to others. Let's face this, we all have quirks. And feedback is the compass, that little round thing that guides us towards the path of perfection. But wait, there is more. Feedback is not just about, you know, fixing or adjusting mistakes. It's the gasoline for your musical journey. Okay, here we go. Imagine playing with a confidence that makes the audience hold their breath in awe. Well, that's one way of feedback. That's the power of constructive feedback. Wow, that was strong. The thing with feedback is you can go from okay to outstanding in no time. And now, drum roll, please. Say hello to the feedback loop. So you practice, receive feedback, course correct, and repeat. That's the loop. It's like having your musical BFF best friends forever by your side cheering you on. But here's the deal. Without feedback, the loop is broken. Your progress will go slow down and who wants that? So here comes the question. Where can you get this magical feedback? From teachers, of course, but not the lousy ones. And also from fellow cellists or musicians, but also good ones. Not those that envy you and that want to make things worse for you. And now comes the best part. Do you know who else can give you feedback? Please, again, some drum roll. Me while the drum roll is going, let me put the cello on the floor because we don't need him anymore. Here we go. You. Yes, you. You are your best teacher. Time by time, record yourself with your phone and then listen to your playing afterwards. And be honest with yourself when you listen to yourself. So record your playing spotty areas that needs TLC and voila. About recording yourself and then listen to yourself afterwards what I personally do. Let's say I'm playing Bach Prelude from cello suite number one. Good, I play the whole thing through, then I listen to it together with the sheet music. And then you listen where things went wrong. Then, with a pencil, you mark it on your sheet music. And then, that particular passage you want to practice. And not just, you know, playing through, because an, what often happens is that people, when they play a mistake, they just, you know, repeat it 100 times in tempo. No, instead, practice it slowly. Analyze where the problem is. And then, you just break that down in small chunks. And practice it, practice it, practice it. And probably the next time it's gonna be better. Maybe not immediately the next time, but the more you do it, the better it will be. Remember this formula. Try, fail, analyze and adjust. This is a golden tip I am giving to you. And of course, let's not forget the online community such as Facebook, Reddit, YouTube, this video that you're watching, it's on YouTube right now. Also, other things that can be very useful are masterclasses, workshops. You can find them also, you know, on different websites. And let's not forget, I also teach online. If you click in the link in the video description below, you go to my website and I offer online cello lessons. And there you have it, mi amigo. Feedback isn't just about, you know, a word. It's your golden ticket to become a cello maestro. So hit that like button, subscribe for more musical adventures like this one over here. And of course, remember, don't let your cello journey just be a solo act. So embrace feedback, keep playing, obviously. And me and you, we together, we are going to rock this cello world. Awesome. If you're still here with me, then I'm sure you need help with something. So why not to watch this lesson over here, where I talk through the fundamentals of scales. Scales are very important. It's like brushing your teeth, you know, before starting your day. It's a daily routine. So 
you want to check this out. Until next time and I'll catch you in the next lesson.